rewards is time consuming, it's hard work, and just requires thinking and planning. So when you decide to apply for any award, whether it's a staff award, whether it's a community award, or an industry award, it is hard work. It is time consuming and does require you to think. But ladies and gentlemen, this week in JT in the Raw, I'm going to share with you that the benefits far outweigh the time that it takes to apply for an award. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to JT in the Raw, coming to you live from downtown Sydney at Filex. JT in the Raw comes to you every single week, almost from a different location. Morning, Susan. Good morning, Daniel. And it's where I get to chew the thin on business. And after 30 years in business, I have just a few things to chew. Good morning, Mick Cunico. Congratulations to Fitness First Winham on winning their award last night. Good morning, Beck. How are you? Ladies and gentlemen, it is Christmas time in the fitness industry in Australia with Filex on this weekend. There is hundreds and hundreds of fitness professionals floating around Darling Harbour learning how to be better personal trainers, group fitness instructors, aqua instructors, mind body instructors, and even business people. So it is a big, Big weekend. Oh, Filex Convention has just said good morning to me. Good morning, Filex Convention. Morning, Neil over there in the UK. So it is a massive event for the fitness industry. The education side is simply so we get better at what we do to get more people more active more often, which helps me achieve what I want to do, which is reduce the healthcare costs around the world. And that is what this weekend is all about. But today's show doesn't matter to me what industry you're in. I wanna talk about awards. I wanna spend today's show focusing on three benefits to you in your business when you apply for awards. So good morning, Pete Crawford. Morning, Eugene. Susan, great having you on board. Neil, what is it, about nine or 10 o'clock over there? So, I've got an itchy nose, by the way. That's why I'm scratching it. This morning, we were up early down here. We did the Fitness Business Podcast uh, networking walk. It was a fantastic morning. It was gorgeous around Darling Harbour. Morning, Simo. Simo, congratulations on a great job yesterday emceeing the Business Summit. What a terrific day that was. So, big shout out to everybody. I saw Jaron on board just then. Uh, thank you to everybody that came to the networking walk. That was terrific. Uh, I think we, we built some great new relationships and friendships for people that didn't even know each other. And that's what the walk is all about. So, big shout out to everybody that came along. Also got a huge shout out to obviously everybody that is here in Sydney from the fitness industry that is investing their money and their time to get better at their job, to get better at serving the consumer, to get better at um, giving results to consumers. This is a big deal for people to be at this event. Any education that takes you out of your job or takes you out of what you normally are uh, doing with your family over three days is a huge sacrifice and I want to give kudos, tip my hat to everybody that's downstairs uh, really learning and, and getting better at what they do. Thanks Richard, great to have you there this morning. Richard saying thanks for coming along to the walk. Yep, awesome. Okay, another big shout out now. This is a little shout out. No one will see this I'm sure, but I've got a shout out to the Hornsby District Netball Association Under 11's rep team. This is Zoe's rep team. She's the first time in a rep team for netball and they went undefeated last week at her very first rep carnival. Nine games, nine wins. They were awesome. Give me a love heart right now if you want to wish all the best to the HDNA rep team for being undefeated. Love heart right now to those, that little group of girls. It's so cool to see the smile on their faces. I know winning is not everything and we're supposed to be about participation, but sure as shit, it's good when we do. Morning, Mari, morning, Nikki. Thanks for coming on the walk this morning. Did I just, 
Did I just see you, Bridget McColl? Did I see you? Good morning. So let me just run through the scenario for you. JB, good morning, Jack Bury, great having you on board. Let me run through this scenario for you. Over the last few weeks, probably about the last seven or eight weeks, awards JT, and they've kind of been moving side by side together. And and I just thought today's show, because last night I was at the Fitness Australia Awards, I just thought today's show, I would talk to you about how important applying for awards are in your business. So first up, I had two of my clients be recognized. Morning, Timmy Felton. Thanks, Susan, for those beautiful wishes. I had two of my clients become Ursa Rising Stars. So first of all, they applied and they're awarded Rising Stars. Then at the Ursa conference, I saw a whole bunch of awards given out to some amazing business people. Then on my um, news feed, I've seen a whole bunch of ladies be recognized through the Telstra Women's Awards just recently. There's a whole bunch of you, I can't name you all, but you all know who you are who are on my news feed. So congratulations to you. And then as I said, last night we celebrated in the fitness industry, the Fitness Australia Awards, and oh my goodness, weren't there some stories about business that just blew my mind. So here's my thought. Why would you apply for any award? I don't care whether it's a staff award, whether it's an industry award, or whether it's just a massive big community award. You know one of those small business awards? I don't care what level of award it is. What I care about is that you consider these three factors. First thing is when you apply for an award, you have to fill out an application form. No shit, Sherlock, I'm not telling you anything there. But by filling out that form, you audit yourself. It's a self audit. Because if this is the checklist to be a premium brand or a premium product or a winner doing something good, if this is the checklist that people look for, you're marking yourself against that checklist. Good morning, Jenny. I will send you the notes from yesterday, Jenny. Don't worry about that. They are coming your way. So this is the checklist. So you audit yourself against that checklist. That benefits the business. It's like a self-evaluation that helps you get better. So the greatest advantage for me when you apply for a, um, an award is this self-auditing process. Now what that also leads to is identifies in that self-auditing some areas where you may have a weakness. That helps you then work out what you need to improve on in the coming six months or 12 months. So the awards are a critical way They're like a a line in the sand, if you will, for you to judge performance, for you to judge where you're at. Very powerful. It allows you to focus because when you know what industries look for or when you know what communities look for or even when you know what your boss looks for in the best staff member on board, when you know all of those things, that allows you to focus on the things that people want. Sometimes we get caught up in the shit of running a business and the shit over here doesn't actually produce a result over here. But the result over here is how we judge a performance in an award. So when we apply for an award, it gives us focus. It gives us focus. Will Miller, good morning. If you're still on board, mate, I'm sorry about last week, but congratulations on your try or Super Rugby, that was terrific. Okay, and number three is that I think when you apply, whether you think you've got a chance or not, when you apply, it boosts your motivation and it boosts the morale of the team that you've actually applied, that you're in the hunt for an award, that you've got a chance. And now look, I know it's a, it's a cliche saying you've got to be in it to win it. But that is the reality, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot get an award if you are not putting your name out there. 
So I want you to think about it. I want you to think, where are the awards that I could apply for? Within your staff, do you have staff awards? Do you have the person, good morning, Connie, caught up with Ben yesterday, great having you here on board this morning. Do you have a criteria for you to be able to judge the team member of the month? Like, I talked about Zoe's netball team. We have a player's player. So this is where the players all vote for the person that contributed the most to the win or the loss, but the game on the weekend. Regardless of what the result of the game was, the players decide who contributed the most to the performance on that day. And that means a lot, that's an award. So what I want us to really be thinking about, ladies and gentlemen, is applying for these awards because we can see the benefit. But what happens if we win? What happens if we win? Now, let me tell you, first off, we have applied for the last three years for an award for the Fitness Business Podcast. We've applied for three years for the Fitness Business Podcast. We have not won. But I've seen the benefit for us in that checklist of what I need to do in order to win. And to be honest, I haven't put enough time into the application process. Next year, I'm busting my butt because I now I've got some background. I now know what I need to do to improve. And so that is my goal is next year to really use that line in the sand of when those awards are to monitor, measure, focus and motivate to be able to complete an application. Okay, couple of other thoughts. Not everybody applies because while you're sitting back thinking, shit, should I actually apply for this? I've got no chance. You've got to be in it to win it. And maybe there's other people thinking the same thing. And you may, you may win by default, if you will, because there are people who just simply don't apply for these competitions or these awards. So it's your opportunity to get there and win. Good morning, LBL down there in Melbourne. Great having you on board this morning. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a great week. Mary Bacon, thanks for coming up yesterday and saying g'day. Let me tell you what happens if you win. Let me tell you what happens if you win. And I'm going to start with, for me, the most important thing if you win is that it adds to your story. Every business has a story. And that story attracts customers. That story attracts people to come and work for them. It attracts stakeholders. So the story is critical and when you win an award, it gives you that external credibility that adds to your story. It's not something that you, you know, I know we, we, we're kind of humble, many of us are humble and we don't apply for awards because we are humble, but ladies and gentlemen, the consumer, Staff members, the media, people want award winners. We got to go out there. So it adds to our story if we win. And when, even if we don't win and we become a finalist, it adds to our story. It adds to our story. What happens when we win? Well, listening last night at the Fitness Australia Awards, one of the most common phrases used was our members, our customers, our clients will be so proud of us. And that's exactly what happens. When you win an award, your customer base are proud of you because it's an external party saying how good you are. Your customers love it. Your customers sit back and they go, congratulations, well done. We are proud to be customers clients, members of yours. So first up, you get a benefit with your customer. Second up, how do you think your staff feel when they're working for an award-winning business? That's just gonna boost the team morale. That's gonna make them feel awesome that they're contributing, that they have contributed for the last 12 months towards winning an award. So the morale lifts, the energy lifts, and they're also proud. They stand taller, their shoulders are back, and they've got a big smile on their dial because they are proud of where they work because this is an award-winning business. So we've got an award, we've got, we've got winners over here from our, our stakeholders being our customers, we've got winners over here from our stakeholders being our staff, and the third winner is you. The third winner is you. You see, 
despite what everybody says, we do like that public recognition. It's great for our status, but most importantly, it's great for our self-esteem. Running a business or running a department can be incredibly lonely. And we don't get sometimes that recognition that we yearn for, that the, mes the message that we're doing a good job, we don't get that. And when you win an award from an external party who's looked at it and evaluated it and compared with your peers, and when your department wins an award or when your business wins an award, oh my goodness, for you personally, that it is an amazing recognition of the effort that you have put in. So it makes you feel good. And while we try to be humble, many of us do stay hungry and we stay humble. It is a great reward for you personally of the effort that you have done. And there's no problems with you just sitting in the background going, <coughs> high-fiving or clapping yourself. So I encourage you to do it. But it also reinforces to you that what you're doing is making a difference. When you win an award, when you become a finalist, it reinforces to you that what you are doing makes a difference to the community and to your team members. Maddie Frost, Maddie Elphick, good morning. So I really want you to think about this for your own sake, your own mental health and driving your business makes you feel good and it reinforces that you're making a difference in the community. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Give me a love heart if you like the idea of applying for more awards in your business. More awards, community awards, department awards, industry awards, staff member of the month awards. Like I said, the most popular award that we had in our netball team, and I always had when I was a rugby player, was the award that went um, player to player, players player. Been lucky enough to be winners in several UK fitness and business awards. Great way to audit yourself. Thank you, Neil Hutchinson. Great comment. I really appreciate that. Thank you, sir. And that's the message that I want to create. It's an auditing process. If you know anybody who you think could benefit from actually applying for an award, but they're sitting on the edge and they're going, should we or should we not? Tag them in the show right now. Tag them in the comments so that they get the show and maybe this will tip them over the edge so that they apply. Tip them over the edge so they apply for an award. You got nothing to lose. No one knows you apply except for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a key component to adding credibility to your business, but making you from that external party, get that positive reinforcement that you're doing a great job. Hey, what'd you think? JT in the Raw, show 142, did you like it? Give me some love if you liked it. Mark Kaplan, good morning. Miss you on the walk this morning. Good luck in your presentation, Mark. It's your Filex day, boo, I think. I hope your presentation goes swimmingly well for you. Tim Bainton, good morning. Okay, what's coming up this week? What is coming up this week for me? Well, Chris Stevenson, who is out here from the US, who's speaking at uh, the conference, he's hanging out with me. So I get to spend some time with Chris. We're, we're doing the Royal Easter show. We're doing a whole bunch of tourist stuff. Zoe's on school holidays. Chris has got his family here. So we've got his boys and his wife, and we are doing touristy things on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, before he goes home on Thursday. So please, please don't contact me because I am on holidays. Oh, award for the most comments tonight. Neil Hutchison, yes, you can have the award. I will give you a special award when I go back and look at all the comments. So this week I've got a little holiday plan, Monday through to Thursday. I'll be back online Thursday doing some work Thursday. Of course, back online Friday for JT and the Raw Show 143. Same bat time, same bat channel. What else is happening? We're starting to roll out some fitness industry tech summit marketing. You'll start to see that more if you're in the fitness industry. Really put this in your diary, 25th and 26th of July. Actually, fuck it, don't put it in the diary. Book your ticket right now to get along to this event. It is going to be amazeballs. It's gonna be sensational. Um, and that's it, that's my week. That is my week. Four days off with Chris, school holidays, 
two days where I'm gonna be doing some work on Fitness Industry Tech Summit. So that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have got two sessions at Fire Lakes. I got one this afternoon about building a membership tribe rather than a membership base. That presentation I can deliver in any industry. So if you would like me to do that for your industry, give me a yell. And then tomorrow I'm running a conversation where we're talking about leadership and looking after people. And I think I know a bit about that, but I'm gonna pose some questions so that people do some peer-to-peer -peer learning. Pumped for that. This is my 20th consecutive year speaking at Filex. Can you tell I'm a little bit excited uh, to be able to be able to do that, achieve that? I don't think anyone else has done that as yet. There are speakers that have spoken more years, but no one consecutively. So I'm pretty excited about that. No award other than the pat on the back from me, but I'm comfortable with that. Now I'm cool with that. Reese Kudafani, it was great to sit with your wife last night at dinner. Hope you're having a great time at the golf weekend away. Ladies and gentlemen, that is JT in the Raw Show 142. If you're just tuning in now, I talked about how important it is to apply for awards. I talked about the application process is this. And that is the auditing of your business. It is the focus that you get when you apply for a role, for a, an award. And number three, the boost in motivation that you get. And then when you win an award, whether you win or lose, but when you win an award, wow, what an amazing opportunity when you win an award to make your clients proud, your staff proud, and yourself proud. Please, if you know anybody watching who should apply for an award, like the Fitness Australia Awards next year, like the Telstra Business Awards, like the award in your industry, or your staff industry, your staff um, awards that you might have, tag them in the comments below. That way they might get the show, and they might, even though applying for award, an award is hard work, they might actually apply. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go to the show, I'm gonna go and check out Filex, Go and listen to a couple of sessions. So I will catch you. Wait for it. Quote of the week. You know I love quote of the week. Quote of the week goes like this. I've written it down. Here it is. Entering awards will have a positive effect on your business, your team, and your community. Apply now. Entering awards will have a positive effect on your business, your team, and your community. Apply now. You've been tuned to JT in the Raw Show 142. Eugene, I'll see you tomorrow up here in Sydney. Everybody else, catch ya on the flip side. <laughs>